Hello. Welcome back to Marvelocity XO. My hair looks crazy. I already know. Uh, I'm actually filming this a day before. So you guys will see this on Saturday, August 14th. I'm actually filming it Friday the 13th. Did you guys know that we're not going to have another Friday the 13th until May of next year? What? I'm just very upset, okay? I'm very upset because I love Friday the 13th. It's my favorite. What can I say? I am a horror movie fanatic. And I love all things scary. Speaking of, <laughs> I... I'm very excited to announce that starting Saturday, I think that's September 3rd, I will be launching a new series called I'm Vexed. Yes, I'm Vexed. And so you all know I went to school. Um, I'm licensed in makeup and um, esthetician. Hold please, I need some tea. Anyways, <laughs> also this bad boy, what the heck? I extracted him today, so we're not gonna talk about him. He was not, he was not invited to the party. Just go ahead and, um, why am I even still talking? If you guys are ready to get into the last part of my Powerpuff Girls, and yes, I was saying Powderpuff this whole time. I didn't realize I was saying it wrong, but honestly, it could be a play on words because like makeup, powder, whatever. Today, is, I'm doing bubbles. That's why my nails are blue and my shirt's blue. I'm not going to keep this on today, but uh, yeah, that's that. Go ahead and cue my intro, please. Marvelous. You talked the whole time when you did, um, what's her name? Oh, not Blossom. When you did the other one, <laughs> Buttercup, why in the world didn't you say anything last time? Honestly, y'all, I feel like I ran out of things to talk about if we're being honest. And I just really wanted to focus on the makeup. I feel like the more I talk, when I'm doing my own makeup, the slower I go. When I'm doing other people's, like, clients' makeup and stuff, I feel like I can, like, I know I can. I can talk and move. But when it's just me and I'm, like, filming, I don't know. It's weird. It's like I have to, like, slow down. Anyways, I'm literally using the same products that I always use. This, of course, is the Neutrogena um, Prep and Correct Primer, Retinas Correction right here um I've been using this for ever to be honest with you like forever um but I do actually want a new primer because I mean obviously like this little white cast is not cute but it's because of the redness but my skin you know is doing really well y'all remember that scab I had the other day that's gone there's just I just my period just ended okay and for all of those who know you normally always get like a random little pimple or what have you when it's your time of the month because you know your body's like <laughs> it's freaking out and on top of that i've been eating like trash so honestly i'm not really surprised that i have a few little new comedones because i've been eating like trash <laughs> if my esthetician was watching i'm so sorry i love you sorry sorry y'all don't even know how hype i am so for whatever reason in florida it is like you cannot find lemon zinger tea like they only ever have the lemon zinger tea in the like combo pack or whatever the heck you want to call it and it drives me up a wall but chris and i went to walmart i think it was like monday or something and then i found the lemon zinger pack like so i'm so excited and then emily and i hung out and we went to uh marshall's and i got i got jack I just 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the P. Louise base, Rumor Zero. Remember, this is the bad boy I used to really like make my eyeshadow pop. Like, huh, really, really doing something. I actually want to purchase um, the P. Louise base. That's my actual complexion. So like when I just wanna do like, you know, normal shades, um, not normal shades, you know that, you guys know what I mean. Like, just like, you know, <laughs> not vibrant shades I don't know I lost my train of thought there um and I also want to get I really wanted to have a blue one since I'm doing you know bubbles today but it's fine this is totally fine I think I put too much but it's fine it is fine so anyways I wanted to talk to you guys today about curbing your depression and I know I've kind of talked about this a little bit but I don't think well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you so today and I know like bubbles is all happy or whatever but let's be honest like there's so many people out in the world that are insanely happy but on the inside are like dying inside okay I'm not saying bubbles is dying on the inside I'm just letting you know so for whatever reason I've I've been doing really well, right? Ever since Chris and I moved into our apartment, I've been doing really, really well. And I haven't really been having any issues with my anxiety or my depression. Like I've been pretty good. Like I had a little bit of a panic attack last week, but it, you know, it's fine. Everything was resolved. I'm good to go, right? Well, I've just been noticing and I, I tend to do this thing where like when I'm on my period, I try to like blame, I would crazy. <laughs> I try to blame my emotions on my period. I'm like, oh, I'm just hormonal, you know, leave me alone, you know? And I try to say like, oh, it's because I'm on my period. But the truth of the matter is, I feel like I've always felt this way. I'm just really good at hiding it or kind of curbing it and acting like, you know, I'm in charge here. Like, it's fine. I have it all under control. But if we're being one million percent honest, like if I'm being completely honest with you guys, um, I do not have everything under control. Let me just tell you, I have been feeling very just mm, lately. I'm being honest with you, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. Like I don't, I don't know like what has caused this like influx of emotion where I just feel very just I don't know like so I work from home I graduated from school all of that I don't know if it's because like I wanted to be doing makeup and um skincare like immediately and the fact that I'm not and all of these interviews I've gone on have just been really just yeah uh, sips tea. I did that for a reason. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say who the, I was on the interviews with, but they just have not been, um, grand, <laughs> if you will. I just, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm just really upset. Like I, I, I definitely wanted to already be working in my field but sometimes I think the universe kind of tries to tell us to chill and rest for a sec we have so many plans of our own and I think the universe already knows what it wants us to do and I think like we're so quick to kind of like just rush and do our own thing so real quick this is the palette I'm using it's the morphe uh 35s sweet oasis and I'm really kind of just going to be playing with like these colors here the first one I'm going to use is salt water. You can see that I use this one all. That was the one I used when I did my um, dragon witch look, I guess you could call it. Um, but I really think I want to use Hidden Cove as well. <clears throat> or maybe Reef Dive. I don't know. We're just playing. Okay, we're playing around. I'm going to figure out what I want to do. But first, we're going to do salt water dip. And just really kind of use a super fluffy brush and play with that all over. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. So, I don't know, man. Like, I've just been feeling some type of way. Like, I just, I don't know how to describe it. I've just been struggling, I guess. That's the best way to put it. I just have been struggling. And, yeah. It's not a fun 
thing to talk about, I feel like, but, and I've, I've really like submerged myself into my day job just because I think I just, I need to feel productive and that I'm doing something, but sometimes I think like I kind of like overdo it, you know? And I think this week specifically has been like super crazy and I think maybe I need to just kind of have a reset. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I just, I've been feeling very burnt out and I'm the one burning myself out. You know what I'm saying? Like no one else is doing it. It's me, it's me being a worry war. It's me feeling like, oh, I'm supposed to have all of this planned out by now. Like, why did I go to school if I'm not even in the field? Like blah, 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 like all this stuff, right? Like all of this stuff we as humans like to go down that okay we don't like to go down the path i think it just happens like we just kind of we want to control so much that when something doesn't go our way i think it just kind of puts us in a funk and like i said i'm really good at like being super positive and optimistic and being like it's okay everything's gonna work out and i don't know man i've and I do know everything is gonna work out. It's just like, I am just like in this like pit of despair. And I'm trying to like calm my way out. And like you guys, I'm totally gonna be fine. Like don't freak out. Um, I just want to come up here and be really transparent with you guys. I have just, I'm trying really, really hard to, you know, keep myself together, but it's a little hard. So I just really wanted to talk about like, how do you curb it? Because I know for me, like, I know I talked about, like, oh, you know, get a journal or start writing your emotions down. And don't get me wrong, like, I write my stuff down all the time, like, Lord have mercy. I get annoyed with myself with how much I write in my daggone notes on my phone, you know? Um, but it is important and it is helpful and, like, for sure, it's just, you know, I wanted to be transparent with you guys because I think we're in... We're in a rough spot, I think, as a society. Like, I think we're all trying to figure our stuff out. And I feel like it's made us even more introverted now. Which I have nothing against introverts. Like, you know, that that's you. That's great. But I think me as a person, I am such an extrovert that this whole, like, pandemic has completely jacked me up. And I, I think that's also like, I feel like there's so many factors to what's going on with me, but I, I truly do believe that it definitely all started once COVID happened and I was like, you know, locked up in my house. And I think I, I try, I don't like talking about it cause I'm like, man, there's so many other things going on in the world. So like, why am I over here complaining about that? But I think it's important to talk about it. Like, I think it's important to figure out like why you feel a certain type of way. And I truly, truly, truly believe it all started once COVID happened. And some days are just better than others. Some days, oh, I messed that up a little bit, it's fine. Some days I'm like really, really good. And other days I'm just not. And this week, and I feel like last week, I've just been in a really tough spot. I also think that's kind of why, Robert, get away from my tea. She's trying to drink my tea. I really, 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 just think um i don't know man i think we have our days but but i say all that to say i am trying to go on this journey of figuring out like what's going on and figuring out how to like fix it you know like i don't really believe depression and anxiety can be cured because we are human you know wow it's really vibrant look at that <laughs> We're human, and I, I don't really believe that there's a way to cure it. Because, again, I just think it's part of who we are. I think we go through so many things in our life that some things stick with us. And, you know, it, it becomes a part of who we are. I know, speaking for myself, there's still some, like, demons in my closet I'm fighting, you know? And sometimes they come out and... Sometimes I just gotta figure out how to deal with it and really put myself back together. But I, I do want to let you guys know that you're not alone if you feel that way. 
And also, don't judge a book by its cover. Some people are really good at making it look like they're Gucci. Like everything's fine, nothing's wrong. We're good to go, you know? When really they're dealing with their own stuff. Some people are really private. Some people, you know, like to be by themselves. I know for me, I like being by myself when I'm feeling like really low and just like depressed. Like, I like to sleep a whole bunch. And um, I'm normally like an early bird and all that. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, today when I woke up, I feel like I hit by a truck. I literally went to bed at like I think 6 last night and I woke up at like 8 and then didn't go back to sleep till I think 11. So like I slept for a really long time so it's not like I'm tired. I just think that like spiritually and mentally and all of that I'm just a little burnt out. And you know it happens. It happens to the best of us but I'm like I'm a little over this. You feel me? Alright so with all that being said so I use the salt water dip for all of this and like I said I kind of messed up here but we can clean that up it's fine and then um I think I'm gonna go in with infinity pool it's really pretty I like it I like it a lot <laughs> I just I want to come up here and talk about that because it's easier said than done curbing your anxiety um and finding things that work for you but ooh, baby it is uh, it's a journey it's I feel like also a painful journey when you're trying to like just figure your stuff out like I'm just trying to figure my stuff out y'all that's all a sister's trying to do plus you know be there for other people and I think that's the other part about dealing with like depression and anxiety is it's like you feel this like this just not burden but this huge responsibility to show up for everybody and to be the rock for everybody else that like I think you forget to use that same energy on yourself um I know speaking for myself I am definitely the friend that is like what's going on how can I make you feel better what can we do blah blah, blah. and I'm the exact same type of wife like with Chris like I mean we're friends first like duh you know what I'm saying so but with Chris and I like I am definitely the type that's like how can I fix it what can I do blah 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 and he's the exact same way like I call Chris the fixer all the time because like I can make one little comment about like Mer. I don't like how this was placed in the apartment. And I'll just like make a comment about it and like five minutes later he fixes it without me even asking. Like he is the fixer. And we both obviously like have each other's backs and everything. Like, you know, that's, I feel like that goes without saying. But I think for me, because of my, just the way I was raised and I'm also like the older sister of three brothers. So I feel like I've always had this like duty or responsibility where it's like, I have to make sure everybody around me is good. Like, and that's beautiful until I neglect myself, you know, like I neglect myself and I'm like, oh, my friends need to be good. So I need to make sure and this isn't about anybody in particular, like literally, I'm just saying like, sometimes it's so easy to fall into, oh, I gotta make sure everyone else is straight. And then when it's time to worry about yourself, you have nothing left to give yourself. And I think that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I think I've like given so much of myself to certain entities and just, ugh, goodness gracious. It's just a lot. Wow, why did I say entities like that? It sounded like I was giving myself to like the devil or something. That sounds weird. I was thinking more like, I guess people in like establishments? I don't know. It sounded really creepy though, my bad. I mean, I do love everything scary, so. But anyways, you know, I, I think it's really important that you take the time. If something, is bothering you I think it take you need to take the time and really like dig a little deep and figure out what's going on because it's just super important you guys it's super duper important because 
If you don't, who will, you know? And then if you're always the strong one, half the time the people don't even know that like you're going through something. They're just like, oh, okay. Like they'll figure it out. They don't need my help. But in reality, they do. Like they, they truly do need you and need your guidance and your assistance and your help. But I think it's a lot harder for the strong ones to say that. It's a lot harder for the people who have always been everybody else's rocks to be like, hey, I'm struggling. Can you help me? Like, I'm not doing so hot, you know? I just want to encourage you to reach out to those people. Reach out to them and take some time for yourself because this world will try to kill you. I'm just being honest. Okay, I'm going to use this shade here. It's called Hidden Cove. Oh. But yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys and let you know that you're not alone. Not in the slightest. Like, not in the slightest. But with all that being said, I think what I need to do is I really need to start meditating again. Um, and just honestly stretching and just like working out and doing stuff for myself like I said this is not gonna help for like everybody because we're all different but I know for me I feel like I'm in a better place when I get up I have a routine of like meditating drinking my tea stretching all of that to kind of just like not only does it get like all the blood flowing and the juices flowing but it also just like gives you some time for yourself like, you know, like it's another part of self-care. It truly, truly is. And I think sometimes we think self-care is shopping or going to get our nails done or going, you know, taking a bubble bath and with bath bombs and all that stuff. But really self-care is honestly whatever you need it to be. But more specifically, it's caring about your soul and your mental stability and where your heart and mind and soul are because it's so easy to just be like oh self-care self-care i'm shopping but that's not really doing anything for your soul it makes your body look cute because you just bought new clothes and stuff but again that's all external we need to check on what's going on with us internally And that is what I have to say about that, because let me tell you, I too have been the one that, that's like how I would heal. I would go shopping, retail therapy. It's a real thing. But again, it's, it's not, it's superficial because guess what? It's never enough. The shopping is never enough. And honestly, that could also be what's going on with me too. I was so used to buying anything I wanted on Shein when we didn't have uh, our own apartment we were like renting a room because we didn't we didn't have that many expenses and now since everything like you know falls on our shoulders and it's like our responsibility and stuff now I've like really taken a step back with my shopping and then now we get super excited when we have like a full pantry of snacks and food and a full fridge like that's exciting like that that's my retail therapy <laughs> So, you know, priorities change, but I think it's because now I'm, I'm having to look more inward and be like, all right, Marvelous, what's going on? Like, let, let's really have a talk. What's really happening with you? Why, what makes you tick? What makes you flip? What, what's going on? And I think, honestly, that's why I'm kind of been in this weird place because it's no fun dealing with like the skeletons in your closet or demons in your closet, whatever y'all like to call it. I like to say demons in my closet because skeletons in my closet just make me think of like, I don't know, that they're like non-existent. Like, have you ever seen a skeleton? It's like just there, but it doesn't, you know what I mean? With a demon, because I watch movies and all that stuff, it's like, no, it's legit there and it keeps popping up. That may be a little weird to say, but that's how I look at it, because demons don't go away unless you handle them, you know? Skeletons, I'm like, all right, they can stay in your closet forever. But demons, they can be rattling that door handle or banging on the door. And that that's kind of how I feel like my anxiety and depression is. Like, it's 
it's always kind of rattling a handle until you fix it. And before I could like, I don't hear that handle. I don't hear it because I'm shopping. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm buying up all the clothes. And I mean, anytime I knew my package was about to be delivered or I would check and check and I'd be up there all day long. Like, where is it? Where is it? Like, it was just like the cherry on top for me. And again, if you can afford it, that's great. Do what you want to do. But comes a point where that stuff is not enough anymore. And you're like, why, why am I like, what's going on? Like, what, what's going on? Why am I so obsessed and addicted to shopping? Look internally, man. Look internal. Okay, I really like how this is coming out. This is nice. Reminds me of like the ocean. But, <clears throat> you know, I, it's been an interesting journey for me. Like, I, I definitely thought I was healed more from some things. And I talked about this not too long ago. But I think it's something that I need to mention again because healing isn't something that happens overnight. It's not something that, oh, all of a sudden I'm healed from blah, blah, blah. And I feel like a million times better. It worked, it worked. Like I'm healed, you know? Um, healing also comes in many different forms. It looks different on everyone. It is different to everyone. And I think I'm, I'm still trying to figure out exactly where my healing starts and and how to keep healing. I think there's so many things that have just gone on in my personal life and excuse me. Just in general, I think there's things that I've also like I've caused myself pain. Um and I I just I'm angry still at myself, I think. And I'm trying to get over that. Like, I'm trying to be like, girl. Sorry, I'm being like real concentrated right now. Give me a sec. Anyways, but I think, you know, there's like childhood trauma. There's relationship trauma. There's friendship trauma. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but why does it feel like when you like break up with a friend, it's worse than breaking up with like a boyfriend. Like, eh. It like stings for a really long time. But you know what I think it is? I think it's because this lash lift sometimes gets in the way of me putting on shadow. <laughs> um, I truly think it's because we tell our friends so much. Like there's no judgment. There's just, we just tell them everything because you know, they're our friends. Like, we're not in the bed with them. We're not, you know, it, there's no, I feel like there's really no expectation. I mean, okay, there's expectations on your friends, but like, y'all know what I'm trying to get at. Like, it's different than when you're with somebody and you're trying to like impress them and all this stuff. Like, I feel like with your friends, especially someone who's been in your life for years, it's, it's a painful separation because it's like, I don't know. It's just like you pictured this person being in your life forever and then something happens and you go from talking to them every single day to nothing, like absolutely nothing. You don't know what's going on in their life. They don't know what's going on in your life and that's it. And it's painful. Like with a breakup, like, yeah, it's sad. It's like, oh, <laughs> But like, it's, it's just not the same to me anyway. And I've talked to many women about this subject too. And they feel the same way. Like it's, it's so different when you've got a friend that you talk to all the damn time. And then just one day y'all aren't cool anymore. Like something happened. Sometimes there's bad blood. Sometimes you just like separate from that person and it totally stinks. Like, again, it still hurts with a breakup, but 
I feel like it's with your friend, you know, they're the ones driving with you three in the morning to McDonald's or going to get nachos and <laughs> a root beer. <laughs> and, um, and it's not even like you have to like just not be friends with them anymore, but like it's not the same and you just know it's probably never going to be the same again. I think that's the part that hurts me is when like you're still friends with them, but you're just like something happened and you just know like y'all are never going to be in the same place that you once were. And I think it goes without saying that like, yeah, you miss the heck out of that person and you just miss everything about them. But sometimes I think like too much time has passed. Um, so it's kind of just like, well, it was incredible, but you know, that's, that was then, this is now kind of situation. And I hate saying it like that, but you know, it is what it is. Period. But all right, this is that reef dive I was telling y'all about. It's like this really pretty deep, deep blue. I like it. I think I'm gonna mix it. Ooh, I like it a lot. I think I'm gonna mix it with the other shade too though, cause why not? Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my first cut crease ever and I'm pretty proud of myself. I definitely feel like I probably need to use this type of brush to do the cut crease because with this type of brush, because it's so like tight and like flat, I can like apply the base and then like go like that. And it's like a perfect like moon type of shape, crescent moon, if you will. With the brush I was using, because it's not like tight and like it's flat, but it's not tight. It's like thin and like the little hairs are everywhere. I'm sure you guys can see when I was doing it, it kind of like flicked up some of the base, which I'm not a fan of. So going forward, I will be using this brush instead because it's thick, tight, and flat. And so the little hairs aren't gonna go everywhere and flick stuff up. It's gonna be like the perfect shape that I want it to be, which is just like that. Perfect. around it's like following the ball of your eyeball <laughs> my teacher taught me so i guess today is like a mixture of curbing depression and dealing with past pain and friends i think it goes on to say who you're friends with i mean really kind of tells a story <laughs> and it's also allowing people's energy I mean sometimes you really just have to like cut people off just because of their energy and you're like you know what you're draining me you're draining me and again sometimes you can just grow apart from people I'm gonna tell you what though high school I miss my high school friends I'm not gonna lie to you I had one in particular, she knows who she is, where I used to go over her house every day after school and I would go over her house so much that her parents would buy me my own like snacks and drinks <laughs> because I would go over there. I liked the uh, blue Gatorade. I think it was like the light blue Gatorade and I think she liked the dark blue Gatorade or the purple Gatorade. I'm not too sure. Shoot, or was it the red? Oh my God. And then as we got older um, and we like had our own places and stuff, like we would go to 7-Eleven like late at night and go get nachos. Like y'all know the nachos you can make and put like jalapenos on them and stuff. And I remember one time I got a monster, like the drink with those spicy nachos. And that just shows you how young I was because like it didn't, obliterate my stomach like it would now like my stomach can't handle that now are you crazy uh, her and i were like inseparable and then you know life happens high school happens stuff happens i still love the hell out of her i think she is such an amazing human 
and I'm always rooting for her. And we're still like friends, like we're still cool, but you know, I feel like it was a different time back then, especially like high school was just like, man, high school is a different era, y'all. Like oh, high school was a different time. Sometimes I'm just like, man, I'm not even the same human. Like I'm, I'm not even the same person as I was back then, and which is good. Like you're supposed to change, but it's almost scary how much like how different I am. Like I am very different from the girl I used to be in high school. Like very different. <laughs> um but you know sometimes I like to look back and be like, oh little high school marvelous. Alright, I'm gonna use Coastline Cruise now. Oh high school marvelous. Man, if y'all knew me in high school, some of y'all follow me and y'all are from high school, so y'all know me, but I really was a different human. It's crazy to think about. Okay, so this is basically just like lightening that blue up because it is a little dark. So I just kind of want to lighten it up a little bit. Can y'all see that? Let's see? I like both shimmers though. Like, because this light blue reminds me of the light color that we put on first, which was saltwater dip. And then the reef dive reminds me of the hidden cove, the deep dark shade in the middle there. So I like those. But anyways, are y'all still cool with your high school friends? I have like childhood friends I'm still super tight with, which makes me happy. We all live in completely different states, but we're all like, those are my sisters for sure. But, um, what do you guys think? Like, do you feel like you've changed at all since high school? Do you feel like you've grown up some? Cause I know some people who still are very much like high school-esque and you're just like, we're almost 30. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I am so extra, I'm sorry. <laughs> Real quick, I'm gonna go in with Secret Lagoon and just like deepen and darken um, like my crease up a little bit and then I'm gonna do my lashes and my liner, smoke out my lower lash line and then be back. Okay, I look like the black swan. Yes, I do. Okay, so on to foundation. I have to hurry. I have like an appointment soon and I'm over here like la 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 la. I didn't realize this was gonna take so much of my time. I'm here for it, but I'm also like, I gotta go. Anyways, wrapping my speech up to you guys. Um, honestly, it's crazy how a place can feel so nostalgic. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Virginia to me is very nostalgic. And I was actually talking to one of my best friends about this. Um, I was talking to Autumn about this a few weeks ago about how some places it's like a happy nostalgic like oh so many great things happened here i love this place and then visiting other places you can be like Ugh, gives me a bad nostalgic <laughs> and i kind of feel like that's kind of how virginia is for me i feel like so many things have happened there in that state there's a lot of good that happened but i feel like the honestly the bad kind of kind of outweighs the good in my opinion, I just feel like that place holds a lot of memories and dark stuff that I just don't like revisiting. Um, so I was wondering if maybe you guys in the comments down below, because don't forget to subscribe and share this video. My Bubbles Dark Swan-esque look. <laughs> and let me know, like, is there a place that like just takes you back to like a dark place. Like it just, it is like this place you don't really like going to cause it just like gives you all the heebie jeebies about like something that's happened in your past or what have you. Like, is there a place for y'all like that? Cause it's definitely a place for me like that. Bo show. And I'm like, no thanks. But yeah, I guess this video is, I really kind of bounced about everything. Y'all know that's like what I do. Like my brain is like, oh, we're talking about this today. Well, let's also talk about this because 
since you brought that up, now I'm curious about this. Like, that's just how my brain works. I, I low-key think I have, like, some form of ADHD, because <laughs> I feel like I can never stay on topic. My brain is just like, oh, no, 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 what about this, what about that, what about this, what about that? Like, I feel like a chipmunk half the time, but, you know, that's just how I is. That's just how I is, and y'all keep watching, so you must like it, or you must relate to it, which I appreciate, because I think, you know, it, it's nice to be related to. <laughs> There's so many things that's happened in my life, and I'm like, where? What? I would have never seen that coming. Like, what? Half the time I'd be thinking that, like, aliens are orchestrating this whole thing, and they're like, ha ha ha. Let's, on today, and Marvelous's life, let's do this and see how she reacts. Like, I swear, some days I'm just like, what? How? What? what other like cartoons were you guys into so obviously I was very into the Powderpuff Girls I mean I did a whole dang on um what am I doing right now a whole dang on series on them so what are you guys into like what what are you into where you're like, oh yeah, girl, let me tell you, like this was something. And then I can, I'll do a series on that. That'll be my next thing that I do. Well, before September 3rd. So y'all have to comment below what exactly, oh, that's lopsided, it's fine. <laughs> what exactly y'all loved watching as a kid or even a teenager? And if they have like characters that you guys would want me to do. So I also need to go ahead and put up a warning for my new series, I'm Vexed. It's going to be very dark and like I said, I'm creating monsters. So if you have like a squeamish stomach or you just don't like dark things or anything like that, probably not the series for you. But for all of my horror movie junkies, I love everything scary. This series is for you, babes. I absolutely love scary things. Like, Halloween's my favorite, besides my birthday. It goes my birthday, Halloween, Christmas. But I'm, like, super stoked for Christmas this year. I think it's because this is me and Chris's first place alone, so we can decorate for Christmas however we feel like. So I'm super excited and thankful for that. Um... But yeah, I, I just love all things scary. I don't know, like, it just, like, makes my little heart happy, like. And I love being able to, like, transform, like, that's fun to me, like, oh, so nice. Do you guys know what going to be for Halloween? Speaking of all things scary. I already know what I want to do, and I'm super stoked for it. Surprisingly, I don't really think it's going to be, well, I guess I didn't think about the makeup I wore. Now that I think about it, I probably could make, I think you can make anything scary to be 100% honest with y'all. I don't really think that um, there's too many things that you can't make scary. I think like you have a imagination, use it, and you surprise yourself with what you come up with. Trust and believe. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm going to pick up more skincare products today because I am basically out of everything. <laughs> um, and with my, like, I use, like, seven products daily. I think it's seven. Yeah, it's seven of them bad boys. So, when I'm almost out of stuff, it's like, oh, Lord, have mercy. I kind of panic because, y'all know, my skin's been healing so nicely on face reality. Um, skincare, so I, I'm not trying to like jinx that, you know, I'm not trying to jinx that. Alright, so after I conceal, don't feel, uh, I guess this really could have been a frozen look too, huh? I actually have frozen, um, ColourPop has a frozen collection and I have the glitter from it. I love it. And I'm debating of using it in this, but I don't know. So I'm gonna do my brows, I'm gonna do my lips, 
But um, since I'm like kind of in a rush and I already feel like this video is about to be an hour, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and do the reveal for y'all in a second. Uh, because I know this is long already. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bake. Oh, now I want a cake, oh my God. I, always, I like want cakes all the time, that's crazy, it's crazy. But I'm using the Fenty Beauty, the same one I use. Again, I use the same products all the time. Like, there's no change here, no change. But I have been using this brush. This is actually the Morphe Fenty. Oops, oh, sorry, the Morphe brush, not Fenty. I'm using Fenty right now, but this is actually the Morphe um, brush that they were giving away for free if you bought their new hyaluronic foundation. Like, I think they released it earlier this year or something like that. So, I love it, love it, love it for this because I feel like it's more dense and tight. So, it just gets all the places I needed to get. The other brush that I was using, I feel like it's a little too light and thin to really pack in all the powder. Like I just felt like it wasn't really setting properly. So I've been doing this and I've really been digging it. Like I feel like it sets everything perfectly. Cause like, look how tight, like look how thick. First of all, look how thick the brushes and the bristles are. So like it just packs and pushes in whatever you place on the brush. Whereas the other brush is just really like light and flimsy. So powder was always falling all over the place. I was like, Ugh. no, no, no. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair so I don't look crazy. And um, I'll be back for the reveal. Okay, I wanted to give you guys the option. So I went ahead and did my brows. I use the same stuff I use all the time. Um, brow benefit, brow powder for natural looking fullness, and number five is like the darkest shade they have. Um, and then for my blush, I did a uh, private villa mixed with hibiscus blossoms and wonderlust. That's what gives it kind of like this little like sheen here. And then I use the NYX glitter primer. Um, and then the frozen uh, thing I was telling you about, the ColourPop Frozen, the Dark Sea. This is from the Frozen 2 collection. It's called Glitterly Obsessed. It's glitter gel. It looks like this. It's really pretty. So I want to show you guys the option of just having it with like that um, or with this. I feel like this is more Bubbles-esque if you ask me. And then the lips, I actually use the Morphe Matte Boo Lipstick. And then I like kind of dabbed on the Dubai NYX, but not really a lot. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but K Honey Beauty and Co. It is in Dream Bubble. And I will link her down below. She has some new lip glosses for you guys to check out. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I've been doing. I wanted to come back and show you guys. Can you believe that I didn't use a lip liner today? It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm just kind of like dabbing this. Where that like shimmer is, is actually the glitter gel. So I'm just kind of following that. And I like the fact that the glitter gel is like a champagne glisten. Like that's super cool. Instead of it just being like kind of like white or like, like gel. I mean like glue, it's the champagne shimmer. So it kind of like shows you where you need to like put the glitter. And of course, a little on my nose, nothing crazy. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, do my hair, do some setting spray, and then I'll be back. Then I'll be back. looked like I said I use the frozen glitter gel it's a vibe and um, I love this dress I actually bought this dress from Shein I think like last year and never wore it because I had like other plans for it but 
that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's a wrap on my series of the Powerpuff Girls. I, this is Bubbles, my rendition of how Bubbles would look if she was grown and black and beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for choosing life and being here on planet Earth with me. Remember, you matter, your voice matters. You are amazing. I love you. Remember to stay safe, stay sane, and be well. I'll catch you guys next time, and happy Saturday.